Close to four months ago, the Aluwa legislator was gunned down as he made his way home in Kawanda, Waxwa district. Long after his death, questions of why and who killed Ibrahim Abirga linger. And while that search continues, one woman who claims to have been his wife for 14 years says she's struggling. <laughs> They had a child together, she says, and he's now in primary school. She says Abiga's brother, who was also killed alongside him, left behind two children who are now under care. Well, the government took over the responsibility of paying the school fees for Abiga's children. She says this is not enough. Nabatan says she cannot afford to pay rent and she's calling on the president to help. <laughs> Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.